what's going on vv gang welcome back to the channel all things strange it's your man dr strange and it looks like we are back in action so you know i'm asking are we stacking or slacking on looks like we're getting the first appearance of helverine in wolverine number one and this number one dropped in 2010 this is going to drop on the vv app on tuesday september 3rd you know how we do we got to dive in check out the drop details check out all the covers probably head all over to key collector definitely the ebay see what people are looking for right now for this book slapped up and i'm gonna figure out if i'm stacking or slacking on it so let's dive into it man. okay ladies and gentlemen we're here on vv's blog site checking out wolverine number one and it says the first appearance of Wolverine, acclaimed author jason aaron and superstar artist Renato Guedes send Wolverine to hell literally. Someone's out to destroy Wolverine permanently and they may have succeeded. But if Wolverine's soul is in hell, how is his body terrorizing those closest to him? So this release features cover art by Jay Lee, Marco Djurjevic, Steve McNiven, and J. Scott Campbell. So as we know, we got a drop date of the 3rd of September, 8 a.m. Pacific time. List price is $6.99. Published 2010, five cover variants, 3,000 total editions. First edition for public sale is going to be number 162. And that's going to break down to 1,200 commons, 780 uncommons, 600 rares, 300 ultra rares, and only 120 secret rares and 342 editions across all five rarities are going to be withheld by vv so you know how we do it we gotta dive into these covers and check it out man so wolverine getting sent to hell very interesting i see a lot of swords in him right so i'm getting deadpool vibes but According to down here, it says featuring the last stand of the Silver Samurai. So, um, if any of you guys saw the Wolverine movie, you know, they had a whole thing with Silver Samurai and that. Um, I have no idea how this is going to connect to him getting sent to hell, so very interesting. The only thing I could think is like Deadpool being involved, you know what I'm saying? But, not sure but as for this cover i definitely like it man very creepy vibes i like it um pretty sure we know we're gonna get from mm. okay so our uncommon isn't just our common unsaturated it's almost more like a sketch variant type of vibe here definitely gonna check out uh key collector and ebay and see if this was sold in real life like this very interesting i like this cover though i like the black and white actually man. um what's this say down here abandon all hope me who enter here yeah it looks like he's on his way to hell that's for sure um interesting how that doesn't really show up on the original cover wait a minute what's going on there very interesting huh so i don't know i guess it's there it's behind you know Jason Aaron and Jason Latour's name but I like how this actually stands out on this cover you know set aside stand alone that's kind of dope man let us venture on down oh okay so the uncommon is the vintage variant interesting so our rare let's check it out we're not sure exactly who this is done by you know we got the same names up there so I guess this is gonna um you know be something that we should see came out in real life i'm hoping so man if not i mean might be kind of dope that we got an exclusive on this level because this is uh unbelievable artwork here man nightcrawler i think that's saber tooth up there not sure but yeah man definitely like this definitely like this joint right here man that's a banger for a rare you know um and let's see what our ultra rare looks like you know oh okay so we're getting something totally different for the ultra rare it's not the rare in color not a fan of the pose but i'm a fan of the concept though i give i give him props for that i don't know what it is like it doesn't give me logan wolverine vibes i don't feel like this is a different wolverine like a different guy maybe i don't know but 
probably just me, but let's hop on down and check out the cover. It is secret rare and whoa. Okay, this is interesting because yeah, there's that Deadpool reference I made. So maybe Deadpool does have something to do with this. I like this uh these artist signatures on this book. I think this is a crazy secret rare right here. You know, this one is a banger. So I'm definitely taking this into account. True Believer Variant, Vibranium Hero Variant, Vintage Variant, Classic Cover, man. I actually like all these covers, you know. The Rare, mm, oh, sorry, the Ultra Rare, eh, you know. But Secret Rare, Rare, Uncommon, Common, all bangers, man. I like these. So I'm going to hop on over to um, Key Collector check out get some background details and see if there's any other variants we didn't get or what the deal is with the variants we are getting so let's do that okay ladies and gentlemen we're here on key collector checking out wolverine number one and we can see right here on the screen our common cover had a low of one a mid of two and a high of four All right and uh there's a variant right there which we did not get by our atoms but here is our variant, 175. Had a low of 12, a mid of 45, and a high of 140. Wow. So that's our rare, which is interesting. You know? Here goes another variant. This is kind of dope. Oh, okay. Here is our ultra rare. What's interesting is the lows this book had. Wow. I mean, just the price values on it. Low of 1, a mid of 2, and a high of 4. It's interesting. Here's a secret rare. Wow. So all it looks like almost all of our rare. Oh, here's our other variant. Man, so the secret rare had a low of 160, a mid of 400, and a high of 1.6K. That's crazy. This is the J. Scott Campbell variant. Man, this secret rare is serious. This right here is our uncommon low of one, mid of two, and a high of four. So very interesting there that, you know, we're getting all real world variants here except for no i think we got all of them right common uncommon is the black and white that's the rare that's the ultra rare oh man bb you listening man you listening we got all the variants we need pretty much man you know this one is okay but i i like the ones they chose over that for sure so i, I think they nailed this one as far as uh giving us all the real life variants man let me know what you guys think i guess you know <clears throat> the one that people in the real world revere is our rare and our uh secret rare right so it'll be interesting to see what happens in the market after the drop right so Without further ado, I think I'm going to head on over to eBay and see what people are looking for. Wolverine number one slapped up right now. Figure out if I'm stacking or slacking. So let's get it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're here on eBay checking out Wolverine number one 2010 drop. And you see right here on the screen, we got a couple of results, but I'm going to hit the sort button. Highest price plus shipping. Let's see what we get. Ooh, nice Frank Miller. Jeez. Right. Okay, but there is a, a 1 in 75 Jurdejevic variant. They want $7.99 for that one, man. So, pretty encouraging there. Wow, someone got that sketch variant. The blank one that was on the screen. And they got Joe Rubenstein to... Do a sketch and sign it. That's awesome. And here we are. We have variant edition here going for 300. I don't even think that's in a slab. Interesting. 9.8 of our sketch variant going for 300. So got a good idea. The price is there. Um, not a ton listed either, which makes me think a lot of people are holding this book. Imagine they go down that road though. Helverine. That would set all these books literally on fire, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. I like to be early versus late. I think this concept is uh, very interesting. I think that Wolverine and Deadpool 
already having a movie together it doing the numbers it did i don't see why you know they don't work on um something like this um why not you know maybe who knows maybe they fuse this into the next movie you know but i know one thing nobody's getting younger so they need to like close the gap on how long it takes for them to make these movies but i know it takes time the scripts the effects all of that good stuff right but um yeah i could definitely see them doing something with this concept and storyline man but the question is am i stacking or slacking on wolverine number one I could tell you one thing I'm gonna try my hardest to go for this drop i've got a lot going on tomorrow though but if i had nothing going on i would definitely be trying to go for one at minimum um I just like all these covers and I like the price action behind them, you know, the common aside. But, um, you know, overall, I think this is a book I might want to stack up on, man. I I like where the storyline went. You know, it's a lot. I don't want to ruin the plot, but basically the government has a um, project going on, like hell something, hell juice, hellfire. I don't know. It's not hellfire. It's hell something. And, uh, they put some soldiers in this program the soldiers break out and at the same time wolverine supposedly you know helverine but that's that's not this issue that's like helverine number one stuff you know where he's kind of going across country and doing what he does you know what i'm saying but the concept is dope you know the whole ghost rider mixed with wolverine i really like that that concept man i wish they would have used it more since like logan is known for having a motorcycle and all that like kind of make him a wolverine on the bike ghost rider like even go that far because i mean not a lot of characters wear a leather jacket and, and ride motorcycles you know what i'm saying so i think it would be fitting i hope they go there one day with it um maybe they did and i just didn't read the book yet because it's a lot of helverine books out there but um overall man i think i'm gonna be stacking on wolverine number one i mean it's wolverine number one right now 2010 though right so yeah man i think that's what i'm gonna be doing but let me know down below what you gonna do but for now your man dr strange all things strange is out